Since cavemen are no longer in existence and hunting for food is a domain of animals, I'm surprised how many people wear furs, especially celebrities who are supposed to be shining examples. There are certain celebrities that are not only popular, but have enormous impact on young people around the world as their raw models. So why some of them wear furs? Is it their guilty pleasure? Or luxury which for them is affordable? Or maybe it is a vapid desire? Celebrities that wear fur have moral obligations to show the world their good side and the right choices. They are the voice of many people that follow them. So the star, like Rihanna, should know better, but she's constantly caught on wearing furs like uh, during Met Gala in 2013 or during her normal, casual, day-to-day -day walks. She was approached by activists many times, but refused to take any advice whatsoever. How shallow you must be to wear fur. It's unexplainable, like Kim Kardashian. Uh, it's the next example of shallow, stupid person that walks the earth as well as her husband Kanye West. They both lack of compassion and understanding, as well as kindness towards animals. For them, the most important thing is fame, then money and fashion. They're disgusting, let me tell you. One's wrong to wear fur, you need to start wearing fur. That's horrible, terrible person. Another person that is highly recognizable and have enormous impact on women around the globe is Anna Vintour the editor-in-chief of Vogue. She's very influential and has been since 1988. The only off-putting problem with her is that she's wearing fur and has no intention to do otherwise. It's a great shame. Here I'll give you some other examples of celebrities that keep fur business alive. So first of all, we've got Olsen sisters the walking advertisement for fur is Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Amber Rose or P. Diddy. Some of you may not like drastic content but it is necessary to understand that animals pain and suffering is real and cannot stay unrecognized anymore. Animals are living creatures that feel pain. Some of them are considered as our companions, friends, or even family. I've done some research and found five shocking facts about how fur industry is working. Uh, I'll give you only five facts, but there's so much more in this subject. Uh, you would be surprised. Um, so, okay, five shocking facts. Shocking fact number one, one billion rabbits are killed each year so that their fur can be used in clothing or for lures in fly fishing or trim on craft items. Shocking fact number two, in China, more than two million cats and hundreds of thousands of dogs are bludged hanged, bled to death and often skinned alive for their fur. Shocking fact number three. After an animal has been slaughtered, his or her skin is treated with toxic chemicals to keep it from rotting and decomposing in the buyer's closet. Shocking fact number four. Methods used to kill animals for their fur include gassing, electrocution and neck breaking. Four bearing animals are also caught and killed in barbaric body gripping traps. Shocking fact number five. The fur industry is a threat to our environment and wildlife, contributing to higher energy costs, pollution, land destruction and reductions in populations of wild animals, including endangered 
and threatened species who may be accidentally trapped and killed. Irony, isn't it? The people that inspire us, create good things, can be at the same time mindless, thoughtless and heartless creatures. So fur is just a stupid desire which harm other fellow beings. Think twice before you contribute to this industry. And look twice on your favorite singer or actor again. Because for me, artist is also compassionate and free from cruelty. What's more, this person have a choice. They do not have to buy first. They do not need it at all. If they do so, it means that we are wasting our time on vapid, self-centered, ignorant, who do not want and will not show us the right way. Sad, but true. Don't you think?